Welcome to the custom command setup. In this video, I am going to show you how to add and use custom commands. There is also a PDF instruction available online with more detailed instructions which you can follow in your own pace. Adding your own custom commands is easy using the dynamic command system. You can add any command you like without having to make any changes to the original code. Following this video or the PDF, it should take no more than a few minutes to implement your custom command and its logic into your companion AI. Let's get started. We start by opening the enumeration that contains all the command types. Once you have found the enum, open it and add your custom command. The name you enter here will also be shown to the players later, so make sure you give it an appropriate name. In this example, I will give my command a very simple name, such as my custom command. However, feel free to name your commands whatever suits your game best. Next, you need to add the custom command component to each actor where you want the command to be executed when selected in command mode. In this example, I used a simple sphere as the command trigger. After you have added the component, look for the command setting where you can assign your custom command. You have now successfully created an actor that will trigger your custom command when later selected in command mode. The only thing left to do now is to enable the companion AI to actually execute the custom command. To do this, open the companion component and find the command settings. Add a new item to the array. Open the new element using the small drop-down icon and select your custom command from the drop-down. In the sub-behavior tree, you can create your own logic that you want the AI to execute when the command is executed. I have already created some custom command logic to demonstrate the execution of a custom command. My logic basically makes the AI run to the selected actor, print out a debug message, look at the player, and then move on, as you will see soon. Now select your custom behavior tree asset and assign it to the appropriate command. Remember to save and do a little playtesting to make sure the implementation was successful. Select your companion and enter the command mode. Now when in command mode, select the actor you just gave the command component. As you can see, when I select the sphere in command mode, the HUD widget shows the custom command for that actor, as expected. Now when I apply the command, the AI will execute the custom behavior tree logic, which now should result in a green debug message in the corner of my screen. As you can see, the AI executes the custom command just like any other predefined command, and then returns to its original task without a hitch. Let me run the custom command again from a further distance, just to make sure it works. As you can see, the AI approaches the sphere, prints out the message, looks at the player, and then moves on, just as I wanted. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it was helpful. As you can see, it is very easy to create your own custom commands using the dynamic command system. If you need more detailed documentation, have a look at the PDF tutorial on this topic. All links in the description. Have a good day.